Well, good evening, y'all. I hope everybody's doing good today. I'm doing good. I'm finally rested. Now you want to know why I was tired? I didn't tell anybody. Nobody knew except a couple of very close friends. But um, I went to uh, Tijuana, Mexico with a friend to have gastric surgery. And I wanted to tell y'all a little about it because I was a little apprehensive. But if some of you are interested in gastric surgery, um, and you've considered Mexico, but you were worried about anything about it, let me tell you. That hospital was as clean as anything I've seen in the U.S., and the service was above and beyond. They were so attentive. They were right on top of everything. They took care of every need. <clears throat> My friend uh, lined everything up and had a liaison that they worked with that would call them back and forth. Flew into San Diego, the uh, Oasis of Hope had a taxi that text us to know when we got there and tell us where to meet them at, at the exact spot and we went out and met them and they took us to the clinic which is in a gated facility it is a gated facility but it's perfectly safe to shop in Tijuana they told me that I could go and walk and shop if I wanted to but I didn't want to there was a Walmart there was Starbucks there was AutoZone there was Burger King there was Subway it was Italian restaurants. There were, there, I mean, it was just like being stateside right there. I arrived there on a Sunday afternoon, and they did the EKG and the blood work and the chest x-ray. Got everything ready. Surgery was Monday morning at 7.30. The doctor came in and told me not to be alarmed. The surgery would be about 25 minutes. Uh, my friend had gas, gastric sleeve, uh, but, he, but that he would take about two hours getting my friend back to the room because of recovery and pre-op and all of that. But um, the doctor was friendly, the doctor was attentive, the, the nurses were wonderful, they had English speaking people that you could communicate through. In fact, they helped me to order my food through Uber, and would you believe my Uber delivery was one dollar? <laughs> and the food was really cheap. But the hospital is called o Oasis Bariatrics and it's oasisbariatrics.com. If you want to hop online and look them up, uh, it's at the Oasis of Hope Hospital, Tijuana, Mexico. The gastric sleeve starts at $4,299. A lot cheaper than the states. And just as good a service. Board certified doctors. Um, they answer any question you can imagine, down to how old the doctor is. It's 30 minutes south of San Diego. And um, like I said, they met uh, us at the airport with a taxi and took us to the hospital, picked us up that morning and back to the airport, and all that was included in the fee. Now, the, you have to pay your own airfare. The private room with a hospital bed for the patient and a companion hospital bed that you can raise up. And TV had Wi-Fi, I mean had Netflix, and you had Wi-Fi availability. Uh, and I was on Verizon, so my minutes on Verizon worked just as though I were in the U.S., so that was good. You have a private bath with a shower. Um, let's see, it's gated. The doctor that they used was Dr. Carmella, C-A-M-E-L-O, wonderful guy. He said, he, he said that he does about 8 to 10 bariatric surgeries a week, so he's done quite a few. Um, I'm trying to go over my notes to make sure I've told you everything. They had surgery. Um, we, we arrived on Sunday. They had surgery on Monday. Tuesday was a day in the hospital. Wednesday, bright and early, like we got up at 4 o'clock. The taxi came at 10 after 5, took us back to the airport. We flew out at 8 o'clock and got back to Houston Intercontinental Houston time about a quarter to one. And it was cool because our pilot was on his last flight. He was retiring. His family was on the plane. And when we got to Intercontinental, as we were taxiing in to stop, on each side there was fire trucks and they were shooting big old cannons of water onto the plane, which is something they do when somebody retires. So it was cool to be on that flight and get to, to I mean, his family was excited. His grandkids were excited. It was fun time. I think they said he had been flying 33 years. I don't know the pilot's name, but we flew uh, United. Anyhow, if you have any questions, if you're considering this surgery and you're ha and you're iffy, and now we we didn't want to go to South Texas and cross the border down there 
Tijuana is much safer in a lot better area, so that's why my friend chose to go to San Diego and on over into Tijuana. Other friends have gone over there with much success. So, if you have any questions, you can uh, email me privately. My email is below, or you can just ask some questions in the uh, see more below where your comments are. And if I don't know the answer, I'll try to find the answer. But I know that when you're thinking about this, and it's scary because you're put to sleep, and you have a lot of questions about uh, going to Mexico, because if, 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 but all I can tell you is, my husband, when he has problems with his heart and he's in the hospital, he uses Methodist Hospital downtown Houston. These rooms were just as clean and well kept as Methodist Hospital. It was awesome. This center is also a cancer center, cancer treatment. So they have the bariatric and then they have the cancer uh, area. There's not food available for, like, for me to eat there at the hospital. I didn't find this out to the last day. I could have gone into the dining room, but there's not a menu. You eat, you pay for and eat whatever they've cooked for the cancer patients that day. And it's vegan and it's very healthy. I would have eaten that, but I didn't know it was available. So one of the nurses helped me to set up with uh, Uber, and I just ordered from, from, I got a Subway one day, I got a burger one day, and I got tacos one day. And it's ordered once a day. So um, anyhow, it was quite an experience. I enjoyed the flight. And I'll be real honest, I flew one time when I was uh, between my junior and senior year of high school. I flew from Houston to Austin, a 30-minute flight. And never have flown since. And didn't want to fly. But I didn't want my friend going by herself. So I said, yep, I'll go with them. So now, you know, the flight was fun. It was, it was very smooth. It was a perfect flight, apparently. So I really don't have a fear of flying again, and my husband hates that. But... Uh, Anyhow, no, I'm not going to be hopping a plane every time you turn around. Number one, can't afford it. Number two, I really don't want to do that. But would I do it again to get to do something that I want to do or to get to one of my children? Absolutely. So anyhow, that's all my videos about today. I wanted y'all to know about the Oasis of Hope. And it may be something that some of you have been thinking about doing that you're considering. And I'll tell you this, my friend went on the pre-op diet October 1st. And as of today, they've lost about 40 pounds. So, it does work. It does work. It's not for everybody, but if it's something that you think is for you and something you would like to do, this is an opportunity that you can have it done if you don't have insurance in the States because it's really a lot higher here. It's an opportunity to have the surgery done in a facility that's safe and clean. And, I, I, and I'm pretty picky. I don't want germs and ugly and dirty and, and I don't like rude, ill-mannered people and I like for professionals to act professional and I don't have anything but high marks for this place. So if my opinion matters to anybody or if you have any questions, if I don't have the answer, I can contact my friend or they uh, on their website you can set up a virtual consultation and you can ask questions. and. You know just go from there now there's another facility a little farther into mexico and it's called pompeii is the other one so you could look up both of those if you're interested in maybe a financing situation it costs quite a bit more but not as much as the states but and i can't speak for that one i've never seen it but i did see this one it's gated they have a uh, and a guard 24 hours a day at the gate so it's perfectly safe but they told uh, everybody told me the nurses and the doctors all said you're perfectly safe to go out and walk to Walmart or wherever you want to go our streets are patrolled and there's no crime here I guess because it's such a big business with the medical field in that area the crime they keep the crime rate down but I didn't quite want to do that so I stayed within the locked facility except when they opened the gate to hand me my uber bag but um, Apparently it's very safe. And it was cool when we were coming home that morning and we were in the line to go through customs. I bet you there was 500 little kiosks with little umbrella on them like you would see at Astroworld or something with a selling snow cones or cold. And they were selling anything you could imagine. Breakfast sandwiches, burritos, tacos, fruit drinks, coffee. And they were just everywhere. And they all had on their crisp little aprons with the name of their little company. And they would take your order, and then if traffic moved, they may have to run five cars up to bring you your order. We didn't order anything, but the taxi driver did. He got him a fruit smoothie. 
But I, that was a neat thing for me, but it was too dark to take pictures. But that they were working like bees. And then he would be driving along. And right here on the yellow line between two cars, a motorcycle would come zooming up between and he'd see a little space and he'd go in front of that car and zigzag till he got around and over to where he wanted to go. And my daughter said when they were in California, the motorcycle drivers did that there. But now we didn't see it on the road going back into California, but boy, there on the, in Mexico, they were just, where, where there was a little slot, they put, that, they put their bike and got right through there. But anyhow, I hope this helps somebody, and if it doesn't, well, I took my chances to tell you about it, just in case. Now, y'all come back in a day or two, and we'll be cooking something good. The good Lord bless and keep y'all, and um, every now and then I'll give you an update on how much weight they've lost.